Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Uh, Happy New Year, everyone. It is what? It, Today's the second. It's second. Day, yeah, the day after New Year's. Second day of 2023. We didn't. Uh, yeah. Well, yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday. Mail's not running today. They have they have today off for uh, New Year's. We we still have to pack orders. We've got like 30 something things going out. And uh, yeah, we also, uh, I wanted to come on here too with y'all so I could tell y'all a few jokes here. Oh, is that the only reason you came out here today? That's, yeah, I was just <laughs> looking for- the highlight of his day now. That's not true. <laughs> it's a pretty good one though, pretty yeah? good part of it. Okay. Okay, so Candace, a bossy man walks into a bar. He orders everyone around. <laughs> okay in the past everyone owned horses and only the rich owned cars now everyone has a car and only the rich have horses my how the stables have turned that is really bad i don't like that one's not even funny that was not if i you know what if i read i'm gonna keep reading these until i read one where both sides are funny no. my friend told me they couldn't afford their water bill so I sent them a get well soon card. Okay, that is freaking hilarious. Wait, what? My friend told me they couldn't afford- a well, like a well on the yeah, ground? Yes, so I sent them a get well soon card. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, come on. Um, okay, why don't you want to get caught by a gang of mimes? Because they will do unspeakable things to you. These are pretty funny. Oh my gosh. Okay, that was that one qualifies. So okay. I'll put these away until tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but yeah, we uh That was his favorite gift. It's, no, I don't know about that, but I like it. It's good. Um we we have stuff to orders to pull, things to list. Uh we do we're gonna try and do we we're just talking about when when are we gonna do inventory. We have some other stuff we have to do too in our personal life over the next couple of days so i don't know when we're going to get to inventory it might be it'll be within the next week so yeah we'll it's going to be this week maybe the weekend something like that yeah. so <sighs> well, we had a, a lot the consensus on our little green thingy is paper clip holder makes guess. sense yeah um and then someone mentioned that ccs is like um usually what's done it's like a um creative studies in college that's how they would market like this was maybe a project for their school okay. or something i don't know makes sense yeah. otherwise why would it be made out of well like a lot a, of stuff back then was made out of that kind of yeah stuff yeah Pottery, oh, also ceramic, whatever also from that last from that vi same video i pulled an order for gi joe <laughs> and I, I don't know if my vision is that bad or if I just wanted it to be this, but I'll put a, I'll put the thumbnail, <laughs> but I'm like, Candace, Candace, what, what do you, you, you know what this one's called? And I love the name of this one. And, and it was, I said it was major attitude and it was actually somebody in the comments yesterday or today, yeah. they said it's major altitude. I'm like, Oh, <laughs> So, Candace got a good laugh. Candace actually got quite a few. She was over there yucking it up this yeah, morning. Yeah, there were some good comments. Reading, on reading comments. Last video. It's funny. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get to it. We're going to start, go ahead and pull some orders. We have like 30 something things going out. So, let's go. All right, and like I said, uh, this stuff we're pulling today, but mail is not running until tomorrow. So. And nothing has to go out until tomorrow. U92, that was a uh, Jeremy Hill. He played running back at LSU. And then he uh, he played for, I think, the yeah the Bengals for a little while. And then he ended up out of the league. Uh, so kind of, I can't remember what the case was. Domestic abuse or something. Something like that. Uh, it was pretty bad, whatever it was. It was bad enough to where it was not surprising when he was out of the league and never heard from again. I know that. Uh, four ninety nine plus shipping on top for that. Then MU seven. We sold this little bank, cool little book looking bank, um, that you would put your money into, and then you bring it to the bank, and they would deposit it for you. Um, I guess they held the key. At least that's our guess, anyway. 
This sold for $39.99 plus shipping on top. That did really good, huh, Candace? Mm -hmm. Wow, I didn't know that was going to be worth that much. But, I mean, it's interesting. I've actually, during, during my research, I found like this thread um, of people trying to like identify or figure out what ways for people to open theirs. And someone who was like the granddaughter or the founder of the company that made those came on there and gave what? she gave like a little brief history on how you could tell how old some were and whatnot so that was kind of cool huh yeah wow but well, yeah some of the original ones can go upwards to like a hundred dollars like some of the the really old ones probably that, depends on what bank too. that was like from the 50s to 60s and okay the way i was able to to date that was looking up the fdic insured amount it has such a great look to it. It's like, cool looking. Yeah. It did a really good, a good job. Shape. Like the brass is still shiny. Like yeah. It, you know? I noticed that. 40 bucks for that thing. What did we pay for that anyway? A couple of dollars, right? Mm, yeah. Maybe, what, maybe like five. At the was moment. that from Fruit Stripe? Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We sold a. I'm not sure which one of these it's in. You know what, I'm going to guess it's this one. It could be that black binder, though. We sold some, uh... Yeah, it's not in here. That's a set of Batman cards in here. We sold a press photo from the Sting. Probably going to be in here. Okay, this is the movie right here. Then I think I sold. I don't. Why would I do this? I I end. I sold them. I listed them individually, <laughs> on like a uh, variation list. <laughs> Candace started cracking up reading the comment. What is no, the? No, I'm not gonna read this one. Well, I, I want to hear it. If you're gonna enter, if you're gonna interrupt the order pulling, now you gotta tell us. Candace, you look handsome. What? Lonnie, Lonnie, your colors look good. <laughs> You like being called handsome? No, no, Candace, you look handsome. That was me talking to you. Uh -huh. Lonnie, to me, your colors look good. Is that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, so I had to go into... I had to go into my variation listing for these because whenever I went to pull the order, I didn't have these labeled individually any in any way. Yeah. So whenever I went to pull it, it showed me the default photo, which is up. It's the first one. Right yeah. here. Yeah. With Paul Newman playing poker here. But then whenever I went in to the variation photos, I clicked on J, which is the one that sold. Now, now I can see that it's this photo right here of uh, Robert Redford and somebody. So Yeah, so if you decide to do variations, make sure they're labeled. I Honestly, I should have just listed all these together yeah. i don't know why i did that why why didn't i list these all together these are nice ones though they are cool look they they're, they're super glossy yeah they're from like a uh tv release they were from a, a, we bought a lot of press release photos that look like it came from a local mm -hmm. network um maybe executive or whatever yep including that binder right there. A network affiliate, I should say, not local network. Yeah, including this binder. That's how we got yeah. this. Yeah. This is a uh NBC. Yep. Yeah. Right on two Delta, we sold a cake pan. If I can get to it. Oh yeah. It's not all the way down there. It's right here. Here we go. It is this right here, this cool looking wizard pan sold for nineteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. Candace just located this for me. It didn't have a uh, location, item location in the custom SKU thing. I uh, sold this Fontanini for Fontanini for fourteen ninety nine plus shipping on top. Somebody called my doll with hair down there a chia pet doll. A chia pet doll. <laughs> <laughs> and on one Echo, we sold some more Fontanini. This base. Or some kind of a fight scene with the Candace keeps reading these comments. Y'all are killing her this morning. She keeps laughing. Somebody called the doll said she had a butt mullet. A butt mullet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
And we're going to go pull another card for Bravo A62. And the weather is crazy here. It was super cold last week and then this week, so far anyway, it's unseasonably warm. It's like we're going to be running air conditioner today at some point. Not yet, but it's going to be like in the high 70s today. <laughs> um, this is a Joe Jesco Edgar Rice Burroughs Fantasy Art Card. $5.99 plus shipping on top for that. And I'm back in here again for Bravo. A15 and 16. <laughs> oh, this side's getting kind of loose. A15 and a 16. A couple of Marvel insert cards here that sold for the price shown on the screen. Well, I can tell y'all, seven and eight dollars, so fifteen dollar order there. And realize we sold so many cards. Nine Bravo Z2. We sold one of these. I'm going to pull one of these silver surfers out. Um, and I did put a note to only pull one. Sold one of these uh, for $6.99 plus shipping on top. I'll pull it out and put it in the uh, top loader. And I don't know why I keep... I know where everything is in here. <laughs> but it doesn't make much sense. And a penny sleeve. Bolo drawer over here. Just above the pantyhose. <laughs> D26. This is a big old Digimon here. I didn't know we had any that big. Isn't that a Digimon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Uh, Digi Warriors. This sold for $29.99 plus shipping on top. Man, this guy's crazy. Look, he's got yin yang symbols on the side. Big old feet. Cat looking head up here. Big old feet. No, look, look how big his feet are compared to like his head. Look at that. Yep. <laughs> anyway, this guy sold for $29.99 plus ship. Go over to the vinyl record box over here. And we are pulling a Midnight Star. These. Here we go. Midnight Star, no parking on the dance floor record. I think that sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. All right, for Bravo, we have a couple more cards. I didn't realize we had this many cards going out today. A128 and 129. No, that's. Oh, I gotta be careful here because this is the part where I have. Some cards have baseball and marble cards with the same numbers on them. So I have a Skullfire and Mean Streak, and that is correct. These two cards sold for a total of $13.98 plus ship. All right, going back to the vinyl box again. And this time we are pulling Heart. Self-titled. And it's right here. This sold for $12.99 plus shipping on top. Put it on top of this other one. All right, I had trouble finding this one. It was in the wrong pocket. This little gear guy. <laughs> I'm glad you found it because he was pricey, man. I knew it was listed. I remember listed. Oh, this thing, this, this little thing, little piece of plastic guy, $40 for that. That's, here's the thing about like accessory like figures or whatever the small ones sometimes are big money because they get lost easily. right oh my gosh yeah. 39 man what, what is the ounce per the ounce That's price on more that? than gold huh i don't know about that but it's <laughs> uh, it's up there <laughs> more than silver for sure okay guy drawer we sold a little bag of accessories of some sort Might be these. Dark World by Mattel. Assorted small accessory parts only. Yeah, this is it. This little baggie sold for $5.99 plus shipping on top. 
And hat box B, we sold a hat. A Buckmaster's hat. This might take a minute to find. It's been listed for a bit. Just hoping it's in here. Ah, here we go. Here is a Buckmaster's hat sold for $12.99 plus shipping on top. Then on 9 Delta, we sold some Lilith's Pet Shop Cruise Collection. I bet this is it right here. It's a bunch of figs and it's like some deck chairs and stuff like that. Uh, this sold for $56.24 plus shipping on top for everything in this little baggie. CC11, we sold another hat. This Disney hat from, I th we, th we think it's probably early 80s, maybe something like that, late 70s. This hat sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. It even had the original, you can see the original tag there where Disney was selling it for $8.50. And on 5 Echo, we sold another Mr. Peanut pot holder. And uh, we have, how many we got left anyway? Well, we've sold three of these now at $10 a piece. And we've got uh, seven of these left. So they're doing pretty well. Didn't want to bore y'all too much with pulling this auto part. But I actually saw it as soon as I lifted one other thing out. Sold this little box, a uh, little package of clamps for $6.99 plus shipping on top. And this is a fun one. Let's see, where am I going? Five Delta. Five Delta. I almost did not. Oh, there it is. I almost passed on this thing. Because the, the lady I bought it from wanted 20 and I wanted to pay 15. And almost walked. But then I asked her again when we were checking out and paying for the rest of the stuff we bought. If she wanted to uh, sell it for 15 and she did it. So bought it for 15, sold for 49.99 plus shipping on top. That's an old steak and ale. It's heavy. <laughs> it weighs a couple of pounds. That's an old steak and ale menu and wine list on the other side. Then Bolo drawer was sold a Mr. Mr. Christmas power supply. This guy right here. Sold for $14.99 plus shipping on top. Back to vinyl again. Vinyl box again. We sold a Human League. I'm not even sure when. Can't remember which buy this is from. Made two. Okay, it's from the later, the earlier buy. Made two vinyl buys in the past few months. Past three to four months, I guess. Here we go. This is the one I was looking for. Looking for Human League Travelogue. This sold for how much? Let me get for this. Look. $16.99 plus shipping on top for this. And this, uh, if you look at the title, it does say Cutout. And they would do this on promo records a lot of times. Uh, they would cut a little notch out or even on CD, uh, CD jewel cases, they would do the same thing. And next, let's see, it says six Bravo, but that's not right. I, I must have moved these at some point. These uh, two Monty Python games. Uh, these two games sold for $24.99 plus shipping on top. I I think I got, I paid either a dollar or two for at a garage sale a few months back for these. I thought they were going to be worth a lot more, but uh, I'm still happy with that return. $24.99 plus shipping for those. And we sold, back over here on 6 Bravo, we sold some of these rice bags Candace bought she paid can she paid a buck a piece for these didn't you yeah okay so we sold off of six bravo 
we sold A and C. And then on MU7, we sold a, we sold B, MU7. Okay, that's behind me. MU7, we sold B. And these are Mardi Gras theme here. I guess they, they all are, aren't they? They are. I'm wondering if someone's making some kind of shirt out of them or something. Yeah, the they're, Mardi Gras. no telling. I mean, they're fairly unique, so. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, hell, that was just these three sold for $38.97 plus shipping on top. So, yep, so that puts us in the profit. Oh, way, way into the profit. You bought like a dozen, right? Yeah, I still have these big Christmas ones to list. Get them suckers up there. And um, I actually, we gave my brother a, a Roger's yeah. kitchen cookbook for Christmas. And I took one of the Christmas ones and used it as like a gift wrap. I put it in there. Uh, you know what? He really liked that gift. Yeah. He, I, did. he doesn't, he doesn't, he didn't, you don't get much of a reaction from him. He's one of those that if he wants something, he's going to buy it. Um, he's fairly well off, so he's hard to buy for, but we kind of made an agreement not to spend a ton on each other for Christmas to concentrate on the kids. So it's hard to try to find him something without just getting like a box of candy or something, you know. Right. No, you did good this time. So yeah, he was You could happy. tell you hit you really hit home with that. He was he was really digging that cookbook. Yeah. And he really liked the touch of putting it in that rice bag. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was a good job. Yeah. yeah it's hard like it's hard to buy like Candace said. It's somebody that just buys as soon as it pops in their head, they buy it if they want it. Yeah. What can you get them? Right. So, unless you're their sister and you know them better than most people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got all those orders packed, so I'll bag those up. We do have a few more. I have, uh, we have some larger UPS type stuff, and then we have some card orders, and uh, I think even a Walmart pen or two here also. So, let's go ahead and pull that stuff now. All right, let's go. We got some more stuff here. One Alpha. Ooh, we've got this Legend of Santa's Cookies plate and cup for leaving, uh, I guess, in 2023. <laughs> oh, 20, we got to get used to 2023 now. I know. Have you had to write it anywhere or anything I yet? I did on a check. A check? Oh, okay, that's right. You did write a check today. <laughs> Oh boy. Last but, year I had to write a check in January and I put the wrong year, you know? Yep. And the bank wouldn't take it like they, they made the person come get that. I'll bet that's a pain in the butt. Yeah. Well, I mean, you worked at the bank. It was probably like that every year, huh? Yeah, I mean, if, if it weren't like big amounts, sometimes we'd kind of let, let it slide, you know? Act like you didn't see it, yeah. notice it. Yeah. At least the first week or so. Depending on the amount, right? Yeah. yeah. Something small. Hmm. But uh, yeah. Anyway, this sold. This is uh, this came with the Mister Christmas stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. So I mean, we are selling some stuff. We we, we pulled some stuff earlier, and uh, I think I have another thing to pull. So I mean, nickel and dime. Not not. This is not nickel and dime. This is twenty eight dollars, but still twenty eight dollars plus shipping on top for this. We've probably sold way more than what we bought that lot of stuff for Man, at this I point. Mean, it's still not all listed. Right. We just haven't had time to get out the big sets and pull with them. Well, we have had time, but we've chosen not to. See, the, all that stuff right there is stuff that we haven't listed yet from that buy. Oh, by the way, uh, my first time using the three inch tape, the garb was up. <laughs> and because I'm an idiot, I, I did my finger, this finger that has the band aid on it. <laughs> I did I, I pull I'm like oh I gotta pull the guard down so I put put my finger on it like this I gotta be careful not to recreate it again and cut my other finger up and I pulled it down and then of course it came down and you big dummy my finger went right across the blade and I cut it and I got b blood all over I had to clean this thing up and Is there little gravity tabs on each end? what you mean over here where you're supposed to do it yeah yeah I know <laughs> It got me already, and I it got me. You were just so excited to use your new tape, huh? I was. I'm like, oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> well, one alpha is getting cleared off. We also sold, not completely cleared off, the rainbow vacuum itself didn't sell, 
but we bought this rainbow at a garage sale a couple weeks ago for twenty dollars and i have that listed for 150 and then we also listed this power the power head hose uh, or nozzle or whatever you call this thing listed this separate because we didn't actually have the power head and that sold for $44.99 uh, by itself so we're already in the profit on the rainbow stuff and we still have the rainbow itself so that was a really good buy all right um they're all 1d okay U14. what is it u14 uh -huh. the, there's an order above that too okay it's theirs okay u14 is who is this liriano yeah, uh, Reimer Liriano. <laughs> yep. Auto card. Okay. U6. U6 is. Wow, this. <laughs> the gaps, it. these these gaps in between these cards are getting crazy. Like, I have U6. The next one is U22. You gotta read this name with your French accent. Okay. Who is this? This is. So I figure out who it is. Oh, Christian Light. La, la couture la couture la couture la couture okay auto card all right u91 u91 oh yeah this this box is getting really empty i actually have a bunch more cards i need to go through all right this is lance lynn auto then the last one is on five Charlie. Five Charlie. S20. What's over here on this side? Which one is it? S20. Yeah. I guess I could have walked around instead of doing that. Oh, okay. That that is a uh, Brandon Cooks. Met nine PSA graded, yeah. yeah, okay. And that order all together, well, y'all could see the prices, I guess. That order all together comes up to uh, let's see, 14, 18, 32 dollars plus shipping on top, and those will go regular old first class package. Then from Small's drawer, sold a Dirk Nowitzki rookie card for $6.99 plus shipping on top. I will take one of those out and sleeve and top load it. And I think this is the last card pull, man. We had a lot of cards sell the past few days. 4BB47. There we go. And this is a Power Blast card of Human Torch that sold for $4.99 plus ship and D and D drawer right here we sold this is a uh, call this a manger I think yeah feeding trowel or manger and hay with box this sold for $19.99 $19 plus ship and yeah this is Fontanini and then one more thing we do have one other thing that is gonna go out tomorrow that is not here it's in storage so i'll show y'all that in tomorrow's video but we are going to go to storage today anyway we're going to go put up some of our own personal stuff and then i'll pick up that order too but right here i'm looking for 37 w37 and this is it this is a walmart employee pin seasons greetings uh walmart year 2000 it's got a jesus and um mother mary on it and it does say walmart on the back do you think they're still doing uh like christian Probably type not. pens i bet they're not i bet you they're not when i when i worked at the bank the last couple of years not only was it like it was never really like religious decorations and stuff but they started we couldn't like do our own decorations. They started sending us company wide ones and it was not e it was not even Christmas specific. It would just be like snowflakes. 
Right. You know, it was just like winter themed. Right. Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I get Which it. Which makes sense. Yeah. It makes sense. But on the other hand, I mean, it almost seems like, and I'm not talking about that in particular, because I honestly, I could, I personally could care less if Walmart employees have Jesus pins on them on their vest or not. Right. I really don't care. But it sure seems like everything is just becoming so sterilized mm -hmm. to where nothing, you can't say anything about anything. Anything could offend anybody. Uh, right. And I, I don't want to be like that because I'm like, you know, then it's like, okay, boomer, which we're not boomers, obviously, but still it's like, you can't, nobody can say anything because someone else might get offended. Like Candace said, it's like, after a while, if you do that enough, you get to a certain point where nobody is saying anything at all <laughs> and that's not how is that good i don't think so we couldn't even put up a christmas tree which stunk because every year before that we had um participated in the the angel tree where where you have the angels and you you had the people adopt the kids and buy them toys right so we didn't have a tree to put our angels on anymore right and i don't know like i, I understand the premise Especially a corporate, a corporation. Yeah, I mean, it's nationwide and they right. probably have um, branches that are like in maybe a saturated uh, Jewish community or, you know, just different right. communities. So I get it. You but know? then again, they are in those communities and why don't you just say, hey, y'all do what you want and trust your managers in the different locations yeah. to, and it's not like people walk in and they're like, you know, like Jewish people been seeing Christmas trees since they were born. Yeah. It's not like like do you think like they they see a Christmas tree and it like hurts their feelings or something? I don't think so. Mm. Just like when I see a uh the uh what what is the Jewish uh the candle thing or whatever, menorah. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. I'm yeah. not Jewish. It doesn't like, you know. Oh, well, I don't want to get too political or social, you know. I don't want to get into all that stuff. Now. But it just, it bothers me a little bit because like, I think people that if somebody wants to be proud of being a Christian or a Jew or a Muslim, do it. It doesn't bother me. And if it does bother you, that's a you problem, <laughs> not an everybody else problem, you know? So I don't know. <laughs> what we, do you think? How'd we get on this rant? <laughs> but, well, I was just shocked whenever I saw the, uh, I'm like, I saw Jesus on a corporate thing yeah. and I'm like, Okay, 20 years later, you do not see that anymore. That was probably when Sam was still alive. Yeah, Sam Walton was old school. Yeah. He's like, I'm getting my Jesus on my employees. I was telling Lonnie, I, I mean, after 20 years of Walmart's being open, he was a billionaire or whatever. He still drove his old pickup truck, <laughs> you know? Right. He's like, what am I going to do? Uh, keep, drive my dog around and, uh, and he named like Cadillac or something, you know? He's right. Like, I'll stick with my truck. Yeah. All right, so after I offended, I'm sure I offended somebody, maybe. I, I, I don't think so. I didn't say anything offensive. But, uh, yeah, that's everything that sold over, well, not everything, because we actually pulled orders the other day, too. But a lot of this stuff is stuff that sold. Uh, a couple of these orders were, like, from Christmas Eve, yeah. Christmas Day. All the last week. All right, right. Since we were on uh, extended handling. Yeah, and then, but I did come in here, we... We packed and got like 20 something orders out the other day too. Friday. Mm -hmm. So it was really more like closer to 60 orders or so. But uh, yeah, we're pretty much caught up now after I get this stuff packed. Oh, no wait, one more thing. This sold too. I'm not gonna pull it down yet because I need the room on the bench. But this big uh, Fontanini uh, thingamajig here sold too, so. We'll put the little thumbnail. I'm going to get that out tomorrow as well. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching. And we will see y'all again very soon. Again, Happy New Year to everyone. I don't think there's there are any groups that are against New Year's. So. Everybody celebrates years. <laughs> years. Or, uh, at least, or at least acknowledges years exist. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Bye, y'all.